hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop updates on Rada mohan next day Rada goes to gungun's room teaches about good touch and bad touch to gungun trivedi ladies and mohan hears everything Rada tells gungun that no one has the right to touch her special body part kadambari notices mohan and gets scared She's about to stop Rada, but Mohan stops his mother and tells his mother that Rada is doing the right thing and every responsible mother should teach this to their daughter. He says Gungun should know about this. Rada tells Gungun that they can't show their special body parts to anyone and if anyone tries to touch those parts, then it's bad. Gungun asks why elders would do that. Rada hesitates to answer. Mohan enters the room and tells Gungun that few elders are bad people so they would do that. He asks her to stay away from those kind of people. Rada tells Gungun that family members also could be bad people. She asks what she would do if anyone tries to break her toy then. Gungun tells she would snatch her toy from that person. Mohan tells she should go to the person whom she trusts. Gungun says everyone would listen to the others. And what if they scold her? Rada tells no one that no one would scold her because she did nothing wrong. She notices Ketkidi and asks Gungun to not try to hide the wrongdoing of wrong persons due to fear. Mohan asks Gungun to not get scared and tell the truth if anyone touched her wrongly. Then that that they are with Gungun always. Gungun hugs Rada and Mohan. Mohan thanks Rada. Ketki wipes her tears and leaves from there. Tusi says Gungun is lucky to get parents like Rada and Mohan. Damni sees Gungun laughing with her parents and tells herself that today is the last day and after today she won't see them together. Later Damni takes Kavri to her room and tells her that mother that they can't let anyone see those papers and informs that she hid those papers in Bushan's room because Rada won't go to Bushan's room. She says she will burn those papers after returning from Puja. Rada overhears the conversation and decides to get that paper and leaves from there. Damni sees Rada leaving from there and sees this hall is the last holy for Rada in this house. Kadambari asks Rada why she did not get ready yet. Rada tells she won't attend the Puja. Kadambari tells it the, it's her last first holy after marriage and colony people must be expecting Rada. Rada tells Bushan will attend the Puja so she won't come. Kadambari leaves from there. Rada says she wants to attend the Puja with Mohan. But she has to find the truth. Bushan overhears their conversation and he informs about it to Damini. Damini tells herself that Rada's destruction begins. Kadambari tells Mohan that Rada refused to attend Holika Dogan, Dohan Puja. Mohan gets surprised hearing this, his mother. He's about to call Rada, but Damini stops him. Gungun comes there and asks Mohan about Rada. He tells his daughter Gungun that Rada might be on his way. She wishes happy holiday to him. He plays with her. Rada moves towards Bushan's room. Bushan follows her, hides when she turns around. She enters Bushan's room and searches those papers. Bushan tells himself that he would make Rada regret slapping him. He plans to make Rada unconscious. Everyone gets shocked hearing the fire sound alarm. Mohan, Rahu and Ajit goes inside the house. Bushan hides from them. Rada notices that and wonders why Bushan is hiding. Mohan searches for Rada and gets relieved seeing her, hugs her and says he lost Tusi and he can't lose Rada. Rada smiles hearing him. Susie smiles seeing that. Rahu tells Kadambari that there is no fire in the house. Everyone enters the house. Mohan breaks the hog, hearing Damni scream. Bushan comes in and asks about the fire and says he is coming from outside. Rada wonders why Bushan is lying and thinks she can't even tell the truth because no one will believe her. Mohan says it would have happened by mistake and everyone is safe, that's what matters. Kadambari says she is glad no one got hurt and it's time to perform Holy Cat Dog Han Puja. Rada tells Kanabari that she will attend the puja and thinks everything is Damini and Kaveri's plan and they are with Pushan. She wonders who pressed the fire alarm. Kaveri tells Damini that Rada is really lucky. Rada notices black powder on Ketki's hand and thanks Ketki for saving her. Ketki tells she did nothing. Rada tells she knows Ketki pressed the fire alarm because she knew Pushan was inside the house. Ketki recalls how she saw Pushan following Rada and pressed the fire alarm. She lies to Rada that she did nothing like that. Rada asks her to tell Bushan's truth to everyone. Ketki tells her that tomorrow Bushan is leaving so everything will be fine. Rada says Ketki accepted that Bushan is not a good person. Ketki tells her to take care of herself and leaves from there. Rada tells herself that she won't spare Bushan. Mohan and Rada perform Holika Dahan Puja. Rada collides with Mohan. Mohan taunts her. Damni scolds Bushan for not doing his work properly. Bushan tells her that tomorrow she will see his talent. Priest tell Mohan and Rada to apply call on each other's feast first. Mohan says he won't come out of the room and leaves from there. Gungun tells Rada that Mohan hides on holiday always and no one applies color on him. Rada says she will apply color on Mohan's feast this year. 
Everyone goes inside except Pushan and Prada. Pushan tries to apply colors on her face, but she pushes his hand and tells him that only Mohan has the right to apply color on her face. He challenges him to apply color on her face first, and no one can stop him. She tells that she will expose him tomorrow. Susie so says that she would also help Radha in exposing Bushan. Next day, Radha wishes happy holy to God and asks God to bless her so she could expose Bushan today and says that she knows Bushan would do something today. Bushan tells himself no one could help Radha today. Radha tells herself that she can't ruin her first holy due to Bushan and enters her room to apply color on Mohan's face. But she applies color on the pillow as she wins it. Mohan. Mohan laughs at her and mocks her. She asks him to come out of the bathroom and play holy with everyone. He refuses to come out and tells that he knows her intentions, that he would come out tomorrow. He reveals he has food with him. She gets shocked hearing him. She calls Gungun. Kaveri mixes bang in the drink. Bushan tells Damini that after drinking this, Mohan can't save Vada, that he will insult her in front of everyone today. Gungun pretends crying and says she told her friends that she's going to celebrate holy with her parents, but Mohan is not with her. Mohan asks her to stop her emotional drama. She tells him he doesn't know how she dreamt to celebrate Holly with her parents and she is in pain because her dream got broken. He tells him he would come out and they can celebrate Holly. He comes out wearing helmets and gloves. <laughs> Rada and Gungun chase Mohan. Kaveri tells Damini to give bang drink to Mohan. Mohan hides under the table. Damini and Rada wonders why, where Mohan went. Rada tells Gungun to find Mohan. Damini finds Mohan. Rada wishes happy Holly to the Trivedis. Tells Ketki she would help her to get justice and hugs her. Gungun searches for Mohan. Kaveri goes to handle Gungun. Damni moves towards Mohan. Pusha moves towards Rada. Mohan warns Damni to not try to apply colors on him. Damni tells she knows he doesn't like colors and asks why he looks tired. He tells he's running away from Rada and Gungun. She gives bang drink to him. He drops the glass when Gungun caught him. He runs from there. Gungun chases him. Damni tells Kaveri to divert Gungun.